Just as there are signals which instruct the cell to divide, there are also signals which instruct the cells to undergo apoptosis, or programmed cell death. For example, cells which are expressing the FAS ligand receptor can be instructed by T lymphocytes, which express the FAS ligand, to begin the apoptotic pathway as the activated receptors interact with cytoplasmic proteins and activate enzymes known as caspases by cleaving a portion and converting the procaspase enzyme into the active caspase enzyme. Cells may also be signaled by tumor necrosis factor, which binds to receptors on the exterior of the cells and can also activate caspase enzymes by converting the precursor procaspase enzyme into the active form. Caspase enzymes can then have effects on the permeability of the mitochondrial membrane through members of the BCL2 gene family. Some members of this family, such as BCL2, oppose apoptosis. They are anti-apoptotic, and they stabilize the mitochondrial membrane, preventing the release of cytochrome C. Other members of this gene family, which are activated uh, by the caspases, such as BID and BAX, they promote changes in the permeability of the mitochondrial membrane and the release of cytochrome C, which will initiate the subsequent stages of apoptosis. There are other possible pathways which would cause the mitochondria to release the cytochrome C, which would further program cell death. So for example, if there is an accumulation of incorrectly folded proteins in the ER, the ER can signal the mitochondria through the release of large amounts of calcium, and this triggers the mitochondria to further the apoptotic pathways. There are a number of caspase enzymes which are active in the cell. Some are referred to as initiator caspases. They function earlier in apoptotic pathways, and they activate the caspases which function later in these pathways. Some of these effector caspases can be activated by the initiator caspases, while others are activated through cytochrome C release from the mitochondria. It is the effector caspases that then begin to break down the proteins and DNA of the cell, resulting in the destruction of the cell. Some apoptosis is required for normal development, while in other instances, apoptosis serves to protect the body from cancerous cells.